Alright everyone, imagine this. Alright, it's the middle of summer, it's probably around early July, and the whole house is quiet. Alright, right now it's nighttime, and it's raining out, and you can just sort of hear the rain against the window. Right now you're watching your favorite TV show, or you're playing a game, and in the show or game it's also raining, so you kind of feel like you're really there. You feel alone and peaceful, yet you also feel immersed. And right now because it's midsummer, you feel at ease, there's no stress of relatives coming over, or classes starting up again. It, it's just sort of chilling out, you're doing your own thing right here, right now, and you feel fine. What I just described to you has to be one of my best memories of absolutely of all time. It's not the, but like, uh, let me explain. See, during the summer, I had this tradition, and it's not like I intentionally made it up. It's just sort of something that actually happened by accident. So basically, every summer for the past like three years, I tend to stay up late watching a no commentary gameplay of a game called uh, Dead by Daylight. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. <laughs> it's pretty underground. And well, yes, like I, I do actually have the game myself. I know you're thinking, why don't you play the game yourself? Yes, I actually do have the game myself. I play it all, all the time, actually. I just often find that me playing the game is not the same as me watching someone else play it. And I, I can't explain it, but it's more suspenseful whenever I watch it rather than do it myself. So basically, one night, whenever it was around, I think it's probably at around like nine or so, I, I got to a living room. I got the living room to myself, the whole couch to myself, and I decided to watch some like video that was recommended to me. And I think it was like a Dead by Daylight no commentary video. And basically, this person just goes around playing as a survivor and tries to escape from the killer, yada, yada, yada. And this one night it was raining and storming and i rem and i remember it it was raining it was storming and if you've ever played this game you know that the game itself has the same setting it's like very dreary and dark and rainy and cold and for at least like two hours i remember i was just like watching game after game and it was just the coziest i've ever been i mean well like not really but like you know what i'm trying to say I i'm sure i've had like a better memory like christmas where it was more cozy but like again you know what i'm trying to say like i was wrapped up in a nice warm blanket and i remember i was just like eating a bunch of pop tarts and stuff and i it was like so cozy because i i felt like i was actually there you know it was like a movie and the thing is with these types of memories I noticed I only really have them during the summer or winter. This is why I absolutely love the summer. Alright, you know, you, you have more time to do the things that you actually want to do. You get to sleep more. Like, the 4th of July is more, like, for friends and family than it is, like, outer relatives, you know? And aunts and uncles that you never really knew. So you don't have to have any of that family fake conversations or whatever. It's just, like, like, like for me, like, summer's just sort of like a reset for me. I don't, I don't know why. I don't really think of the beginning of the year as more like a reset for you, but I think, like, the middle of the year is. Like, think about it. The summer, like, everyone should really love the summer because you could treat it like a reset. Like a reset for your whole, for like your whole personality. Like it, it, think about it. It's middle of the year, so if you really do re really need to reevaluate what you're doing in life or where you're going and your goals and all that, this is like the time. Like right, right now is the time. And not only that, everyone's just sort of vibing out during the summer, so like no one's really stressed or whatever. Like buying presents and stuff and decorating the house. So it's, everyone's just sort of vibing and chilling out and doing whatever, you know? Everyone's just sort of like farming some little W's, you know? You can also wear like shorts and a t-shirt and you'll be fine, you know? You don't really need to like, oh, let me buy like a $50 Sherpa or whatever. But there is one thing I really don't like about the summer. The only thing I can say I really hate about the summer as of right now, writing the script, is that it's kind of too hot and I can't go anywhere. But like, now since I think about it, I don't really go anywhere anyway, and I stay inside and I sleep a lot, so it's just kind of like FOMO. Honestly, it's not even really that bad. Like, plus a lot of my fl friends are also like really free during the summer as well, so they're not really dealing with any classes as much as well, so I get to hang out with them more. So like, it, if I'm gonna be honest, some of my most favorite and cherished memories happen during the summer, like me playing Disney disc golf with my friends or whatever. I think I told you guys about that before though. Mm, all right, you know what? No more script. I I'm just mad right now. Okay, let me tell you. I just want to go off script right now and I just want to tell you like as I'm making this video, I told myself to freaking wake up at 8 a.m. And rat and like for some context, I went to sleep at 1 a.m. So it's really not that hard to wake up, right? It's only like what, like seven hours of sleep? That's not that hard to wake up. Tell me why. Tell me absolutely why the heck I woke up at 12.30. Like, Jesus Christ, man. Like, that's 11 hours of sleep. My God, am I that sleepy and tired? Like, what the hell have I been doing or eating or what What have I been doing to making me this tired? I, I don't understand. And it's, it's no longer funny. Like, I legitimately need to get stuff done. And this is actually getting in my way. What's even funnier is that after I woke up at 12.30 today, 
I was still tired and I could go back to sleep and I did I went back to sleep and just now I woke up and right now I promise you it's 3 27 p.m. Oh my god what is going on what 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 am I doing with my life I don't understand and what's even funnier is right now I could still go back to sleep I wish I had turned on my 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 camera my camera is not on right now so I like I have no proof about this but I have eye bags under my eyes I can still go back to sleep and I'm still tired Tired. And this is what after like what like 11 plus 3 is 14. I've had 14 hours of sleep and I'm still tired I don't understand what I'm doing like like what is this? I had to manually listen to death metal just a few minutes ago just to wake me up and get out of bed right now And just to talk right now. I don't understand what's going on. So you know what never mind disregard everything I just had to say about summer summer's bad summer makes you fall asleep and I'm like tired completely disregard what I had to say you know I'm just mad right now. I I'm just like ranting and yapping at this point. I have been telling myself for like the past week to fi fix my dang sleep schedule. It's getting to the point to where like yesterday was a good night. I went to sleep at like 1.30. That was a good night. Usually I, I fall asleep at like what, like 4? 4.45, 4.47 a.m. And then today I woke up at like 12.30. It just, oh my God. I, I have always been a big proponent of like sleeping and stuff and like completely disregard everything I said about summer. Summer's bad. This makes you sleep more. I'm I'm like legitimately wasting away my time. I just can't stand it anymore. And right now, I wish my camera was plugged up. It's not. I have eye bags. I'm still tired and I could still go back to sleep. I just want to go back to sleep and sleep. And this is getting really bad. Like I will wake up and my morning right now is 3.30. My morning is 3.30 p.m. Like yesterday, I I woke up it was like 2 30 something i woke up got ready and after after like an hour of just like waking up my parents were like oh you want some dinner 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 i just woke up i want some breakfast and it's like four something i i don't understand like what's going on and i i actually need some advice i need you guys to comment tell me what am i doing how to fix it because it's not getting any better clearly like maybe if it gets so bad i'll eventually go to sleep at the same time, I would have gone to sleep. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it'll come, like, full circle. Like, eventually, if I keep messing it up really bad, I'll go to sleep at, like... You have to know what I'm talking about. Like, if I keep messing it up, right, hear me out. If I keep messing it up, and if I keep going down this route... Right now, I'm waking up later in the day. If I keep going down this route, I'm gonna just move on to the next day. So, if you think about it, this isn't really that bad. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm tired. I'm going back to sleep. And... I need help. Um, poggers, I guess. Now the main problem area is up here. All of this going on up here is what's causing me the most physical discomfort. It's like a visceral reaction of discontent coming from this area. This area is not good either. I hate this, but I'm mainly worried about this.